Hello YouTube, hello Twitch, it is some more Hearthstone action with the new patch, uh, and I'm playing some Draenei Mage today. Now, I, I had a sneak peek of this deck in the Tavern Brawl in the lead-up to it, but I was missing some really important cards. One other thing I want to do is, I want to give some credit before I get started on this. A lot of this deck list is actually inspired by a a list of Riot, a Rayla, sorry, Mage that was made by Funky Monkey. So I kind of took that as the, the backbone to build from when I started to build my Draenei Mage deck. Uh, the, the deck is really simple. The, the plan is to cast a ton of cheap spells and fill your board with Rayla. Also, casting lots of cheap spells is good with my Arcwing Pilot. It's good with my Mantle Shapers. It's just basically trying to reward me for casting a ton of cheap spells. I've also got Shafar in here as well to pass on his buff to minions in hand. So, uh, I think it's a fun idea of a deck. I don't know if it's going to work. I've not done any testing, but... Uh, that's, you know, at some point you have to start from zero, right? By the way, there are a few maybe slightly questionable cards in the deck. Uh, in terms of draw engine to get to cheap spells, I have a bit of the spell school package in here. Because I've got a bit of the spell school package in here, I needed to put like a frost spell in the deck, for example. Uh, so I've thrown frost ball in the, the deck. Uh, Stargazing is in here as well to hit arcane spells. Basically, I want you to hit Wisdom of Norgan in, ideally. That will draw me a many, many, many cards. So that's kind of some of the, the slightly weird cards that are in the deck. If I fail to hit Wisdom, I could hit Glyph instead, which just gives me a bunch of cheap spells anyway. It's a bit like the Casino package as well. So just in case you're wondering why this is like a road Frost Bolt in here, it's because of Spell School stuff. Also worth noting for Spell School stuff, uh, I have Holy Spells in the deck because I am Mage Paladin. Which means I can get Wisdom down to one mana, I think, with my deck normally. Uh, not including stuff I generate. And we have this great generator of cards, Exarch Hataru. Uh, I think this card could be really good, so... Let's see if it is. Right. This Drain Air Mage, I've been sitting on it since the day zero of the expansion. And now I don't have any pesky big spell mages getting in my way, elemental shamans getting in my way. I actually forgot the world. There's one other ch card I wanted to quickly check before I did this, but uh, it was an alternate frost spell. The one that copies a card, just because I think it would be better with the Arcwing Pilot. But we we'll, we'll, won't worry about that. Uh, okay, Paladin. I have. You're probably going to be a three play. I'll keep you both. If I've put Troubled Mechanic in the deck, it's because I want to tutor for something, so we might as well get it tutoring for stuff. The light dims, but we fight. The ruse is up. I'm not just a mage, I'm a, a pala mage. Alright, it's Hand of Paladin. You, I could tell by the fact it was default portrait, but I turned the human for a second. Balan, we have a problem. I do not want you drawing all the cards, so we'll get rid of that. I smell golden in their waters. You don't get it, do you, hand buff paladin? I don't want you to draw cards. Keep on panning. Valen, we have a problem. Does anyone copy? It's a trap! I'll trade it. If you want to trade it back, then fine. I, I do appreciate you're probably the more aggressive deck than me. Uh, one thing I'm going to get wrong all the time, by the way, is this. I'm going to fill my hand up too much. An overdraw. Okay, here comes the shapers. Costs two less. 
could be annoying. It's a trap! Shaper comes up next turn. I've also got the combo of Artificer plus Hatteru for a big cheat turn. I hate Handbook Paladin. How has this deck not been nerfed? It's so obnoxious. I think I'm dead. If I'm if I'm gonna play a tempo play, which I probably should do, that can't be the play. I wonder. The, the problem is like if I. <laughs> If I don't do this, then I'm not playing Hatcheru. At least Hatcheru gives me some comeback for next turn if I don't die this turn. But I'm I'm actually pretty certain I'm gonna die. I, I can see them having 27 damage on turn six as Hand of Paladin. Oh my god, trading with me. But ironically, the sweet, sweet relief. All right, Hatcheru, show me the money. We will become so much more than the universe has left us. That is not exactly the money. Three. My hand is a little bit too full, you're right. I can't hold all this value. Magic and magma go hand in hand. Okay. It's a recovery turn, though. Turn to perfection. Can't deny that I recovered somewhat. I have a board. Tsunami. I need you to be glorious. No. Mm, okay. I can live with this. I think I have to make the trade. At least one trade. The question is, do I make two trades? I think I will, to protect the water elemental. I I'm not going to kill them next turn anyway, so pushing the six isn't that important. I'm just worried about outfit the Leroy from hand. But I, I, what can I do about it, my mage? You have anything to declare? Cries. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll kill that and then go pew pew pew. Three, six, eleven. 
15, 20. I have lethal next turn if they don't deal with their minions. Anything to declare? Oh my god, Handbuff Paladin, don't heal. Please don't play the fucking, the dude. The plushie. Yes! You put a spell on me. for duty. Ah, I always love being kind of a paladin. Stupid deck. It's been not quite meta. I do appreciate that it's been below like a tier one deck, but it's been around the meta, like hovering around that for about twelve months now. I I'm done with handbook paladin. Hatcheru, by the way. That win was on him, right? Him? Her? Gina, I don't know. Rexa. I'm not really familiar with Wild War. My sorcery will prevail. A hunter. I see. That <laughs> strange blue phrase pass. These could belong to a brand new Wow, species. that's extremely bold. Well, then, we have a problem. That's extraordinary bold, considering that probably the most popular mage deck right now is Elemental Mage, which has one mana deal two. To just throw your scout out. I guess they've got two in hand. And we're like fine with it. These could belong to a brand new species. Rangari Scout is called a Rangari Scout, so they've got another Rangari Scout in hand. Sure. We have to deal with them. As frustrating as it is. Surprise! It's Palamage. Okay. It's a pretty fast Nael. I was toying with saving this for the, the Railer, but let's get the Mantle Shaper up now. The, the Railer, I need a bit more setting up to do. It's probably not something I typically just dump on for. These could belong to a brand also, by the way, this is a Draenei. Works well with the Artificer. I'm pretty in the correct place to attack with the 5-5 five five on the trade. It was only punished by Freezing Trap second to Bait and Switch, which I deemed was a fairly unlikely result. Alright, the other one's probably hidden meaning, but I'm not going to play around it. Okay, it's not. It's... Probably Ice Trap rather than Rat Trap. Either way, I'm not playing around either of them at some point. Alright, that's 100% Explosive Trap as it was insta-picked. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I 
foam. Energizing mana coil. Alright, playing a secret hunter now. Uh, we know that one of them's ice trap, so I might as well just trigger it with the, the hidden meaning thing again. Oh, Wisdom with, with of Norganon, sorry. That's actually a pretty good option to do it with as well. Wow. Okay, bait and switch makes sense. I actually forgot they played two that turn. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Not great, but could have been worse. They, they just got a, such a fluky opening. But that's probably the worst I'm going to have to deal with. Famous last words. How, how did you get this disgusting opening with some of the cards you've got in your deck? It's like, it's a mystery egg hunter as well. There's some random shit in that deck. And then you said it all face? Cries. We will become so much more than the universe has left us. Uh, I'm going to go with the flow, I think. That's funny. Cries. <laughs> uh. Stop giving me huddle up. I don't want it. Ah, that's the right vein as well. I'm gonna cry. I'm out of time. You know what? It could be worse. Could have been better, not what I wanted, but... We kind of went off. I've got my hand full of spells as well for a railer turn now, or a, a pilot turn if I want to go for pilot. Fast APM decks, man. I can't do them. I want to do them, but I can't. In my defense, I didn't expect to have to pocket dimension in the middle of it as well. I didn't worry about pocket dimension filling my hand with garbage as well. Don't crash. Uh, they did that because they have explosive. Our souls are 
scattered across the universe. You can go into the meat grinder. I've accepted that. I see the beauty in every grain of sand. Fire and blood! Blood runs out on Hello. Okay. I have put some scary things on the board. I wish I didn't have a dormant minion, but here we are. All right, I'll just get Cleave hunted, I suppose. My opponent thought they had lethal, uh, they didn't. Alright, don't worry, we're a mage, we can gain tons of health. I mean, I have to, right? Okay. Don't have two sources of damage in hand. <laughs> you know what's coming next, opponent. beans dip I have a little bit I'm just gonna play that to get rid of it I, I could have frost bolted it instead night. Incredible. Uh, Arcwing Pilot, I respect the aggression. I could have done with you killing the minion on board. Maybe they don't have one damage in hand. Maybe they don't have the weapon. That's un 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 I think that's unlucky. I'm pretty certain probability takes I should have killed that. I, I guess if I'd taken my other line though. I'd have frost bolted it and definitely been alive. They just discovered that. Oh, pain. Hunter, your deck was so bad, but better than mine, I suppose. You're opening with Psychotic as well now that I think about it. But maybe they've discovered something I don't know. I do appreciate I guess it's just a breakfast package with a small part of the discover package in it. My sorcery will prevail. I didn't like it though. 
Warlock. This is, well, based on what we saw early, it's going to be a control deck, surely, right? So... I don't know. I actually don't know what we do. I, I, I think lose is actually what we're going to do. I need to set up some sort of, like, disgusting turn. But I, I feel like... I feel like I'm kind of like a tempo-ish mid-range deck. That's kind of how I see it. That I play fairly... I can play fairly aggressive, at least. And around like 8, 9, and 10, we can do some really powerful things. If we can live to that point. My issue is I feel like the control decks are going to like have their wicked way with me. Because the Arthling pilot is going to be so susceptible to just the board clear. But let's see what we can do. Actually, you're a better play. You we have Railer in hand. We have two coins with the Railer as well. So there's something we could set up. Not a good draw. Surprise. I've not really got a lot of good stuff either to do with the coins right now. Like, it's Rayla coin, coin, go with the flow, and I guess play two Divine Brews on top of it. Probably put one on Rayla to protect Rayla for a future turn, as I have Wisdom. Okay, well, this is a pop-off turn. Pop-off turn. You know what, actually, that's a pretty good turn. <laughs> I think even against Warlock, that's a pretty good turn. Okay. Oh, is it gonna play a giant? Double table flip? Imagine going into hard look at them having double table flip. Cries. Well then, we have a problem. Does anyone copy? Attack, attack. Polish to perfection. That was almost... Well, I think it wasn't the almost certain. They might run Defile in that deck. Maybe Defile could have done me dirty as well. Well, I feel like that was the most likely outcome to lose this game. Is getting my board cleared on the Railer turn. Whiff? Not a whiff, is it? 
I might actually need to take Pocket Dimension here for value. Ah, no. Void Script's better. No one was expected to hit with that, by the way, but I'll take it. Alright, this is fine. This is like my my hardest counter. Well, not my hardest, but it's a pretty hard counter. Just a like hard control deck. Who drew both their two early game AOE cards? Maybe. I don't know if they run Defile. But they were like the only things that would s cause me to struggle. They have Defile. Oh, Mortal Eradication. I had somehow killed two things. Alright, it's not my game. Uh, do we try to set up Pew 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 here? No, we can't. I don't have the mana for that. I think I should trade these in. Just because they probably have some sort of AoE, and if they don't, they, I've shown they have multiple eradication, which is healing. Also, they have this coming back up, so let's put the trade on. I have Arcwing piloted to a Seabreeze Chalice. But why? Why would you not use the spells to kill and save the minion? Surely that's better. Shaper, nice of you to turn up. Uh, also, I can't make the play I want to make because I will do a little die. Unless we get really lucky. Do I just go for luck? Actually, this place is not as bad as I thought it was. It's all going face, by the way. You know what? I take it back. This was a phenomenal play. I'm stupid. I'm ugly. <laughs> it's about as good as I could ever hope for. I nearly killed my opponent. God, if the plagues had got him. Oh, the plagues couldn't. There's none. Actually, yeah, there was enough plagues. Just right. There's... 
four plagues in the deck, so he could have done eight damage. All right, we're going into the Twisting Nether, I suppose. I, I think the correct play is to go for lethal. Which, if I can get one damage, is guaranteed. Holy moly, I win this game. You put a spell on <laughs> Disfavored matchup, you get the best draw you could possibly have. To be fair, I had a pretty good draw. Still lose the game. All right, we're actually so back. Draenei Mage, the new hotness. Even if I'm dumb and forget that I was getting a four mana rebate on my Arcwing pilot. Oh. Brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> Alright, mage. I'm gonna be honest with you, I doubt you're running the same version I am. My sorcery will prevail. I'm going to get you. Maybe. Uh Volleyball is what I'm playing on three. So the spare is probably what I'm gonna play on one. I could probably double brute on two. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Divine Brew and Mantle Shaper. Chef Kiss, good idea. Good idea, Mulligan. I don't even need to get that special deal where, you know, you can buy some runes to get me another Mulligan. Uh, okay, jokes aside, that's a bit of a, a bit of a dig at Battlegrounds. I don't like what you did, Hearthstone, with that. I'm just going to call it as I see it. I think it's a bit of a, a scummy thing to do. In case you're not aware, you can get a reroll on heroes in the battleground now with the cost of like, it's effectively costs runes, right? All right, that's the best opening they can have. Change of plans. Question everything. I'm actually somewhat hoping this matchup with the Divine Brew is pretty good. That's part of the reason why I thought this deck would be actually not bad into this matchup, or not terrible into this matchup. Is that you could deny the Lamplighters with Divine Brews. I am content with this opening. I am running out of cards a little bit. Only a little. Pills, then again, so is my opponent. Some top top deck stone. My opponent sort of has to make some trades here, in my opinion, unless they're confident of getting lethal soon on me. Because otherwise, the divine shields are such such a favorable trade for me that they're going to do a little lose. I think.
bold is what I'll say about this. Okay, that helps them. I can accept that outcome now, considering what they just drew. They might have me. With new lamplighter as well. It's still four damage. Okay. You're lucky. <laughs> God damn it. Not nerfed enough is what I say. Uh, I, I don't know. If they didn't draw Overflow Surger, we win the game. But I'll, I'll give my opponent some like respect. I don't think many people, at least at this point, would have just dropped it on the board before. Summon three guys. There are some changes I could make to this deck as well to allow me to fight off an opponent board as well. But I think we just go toe-to-toe -to -toe yeah, with them. Garrosh. I am the horde. My sorcery will prevail. Yeah. I, I drew both Arcwing pilots. They were pretty heavy cards. Do I keep Shaper? I, I probably do, right, against a warrior. It's probably a control deck. I'm not sure about this one. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to assume it's a control deck, which probably means I'm going to be in a bit of a sad scenario. And I can't quite decide on my mulligan yet. That's interesting. I can't decide on my mulligan yet if I just want to... Sure. I, I can't decide if I just want a hard mulligan for like Rayla and Hataru and you know those type of cards. Valen, we have a problem. Surprise. Ah, uh, I, I hate that. I wish it was another Drain Eye on this card. If you want to buff this card in the next patch, Hearthstone dev team, put this as another Drain Eye. So you can't hit your own mechanic. It's so frustrating to draw the mechanic with a mechanic. Okay, so it's Odin Warrior. It's going to make our life pretty awkward. Valen, we have a problem. It's a trap! <laughs> Just keep protecting my guys, I suppose. Alright, I think next turn is a double shape. Uh, we can play Wisdom on top of that. Pretty big turn. I drew through. Wait, drew two cards, played 10 10 in stats on five. Is that good enough versus Control Warrior, though? I possibly should have played around. Not Brawl. I couldn't play around Brawl. Uh, the Nomelia. Alright. 
50-50 that we were going to get a, an okay result, I suppose. It would have been better if they didn't brawl me. Ooh. Shafar. Wait. That works. As a gracious host, I will tend to you. <laughs> Not on the other one, though. Do I care? Yeah, I do. <laughs> How entertaining. You know what? They just brawled. What are the odds that they have two brawls? Please, no blade storm. Although, actually, maybe send blade storm out because my arcwing pilot. Oh no, my arcwing pilots are fine. Because one of them is being protected. I am about to lose the Shafar buff, though. I'm about to regain the Shafar buff. This is where the fun begins. Literally all in. No more brawls, right? All well, the kills too. Well, it kills one. Oh, it's, it's a killer of control decks, apparently. <laughs> Who would have thought it? I, I certainly wouldn't. Has a real issue against aggro, though. Which is slightly weird, because I feel like I should be able to... Keep up with a lot of the aggro decks. I guess it's just if someone goes wide, I struggle to match them. All right, my game's also decided to crash. It is so shocked at the the results so far today. It had to take a moment. By the way, Priest has had their, one of their My big cards nerfed. They, they had like one good deck. And that deck is no longer that good. Do I want you? Uh, it kind of feels bad that I'm mulliganing the one mana card, but... Actually, this opening is pretty garbage. We might lose. So the two decks of Priest out there are Overheal Priest and... Zarimi. The Overhill Priest has just had Funnel Cake nerfed, which means it can't really go off on as big a healing turn as it once did. They could probably still set up an annoying board, though, so we kind of have to play... Try and play somewhat aggressive.
It could also be Control Priest. Which would certainly be a thing. It's Draenei Priest. I think we're fine. Let's do Health and Rush. You know what? I too like to have fun, occasionally. My trade is just very slightly awkward right now. I don't really want to burn a spell to do this, but I don't want to double trade. I guess we'll just do that. Hopefully Yogg will give me some value. The one I worried about getting to that deck? Uh, nothing. It's just a bunch of neutral drain. I, I guess Velen. Oh, well, that can be good. Wow, the Drain I are at war. Is this some sort of law accurate thing for WoW? Drain I Priest v Drain I Mage. Rush and Elusive. I sleep. So the next thing is going to get Rush as well. I think getting Rush off that Wayfinder is a pretty good roll for them. They've basically had Rush every single turn. It's like playing the uh, the dungeon run mode with the rocket boots. Oh, my opponent's got rocket boots. It's pretty annoying. Sorry, Gleesoker. I am working. Okay, bit of a waste of them. Unless that is the biggest drain I've got. I don't hate that trade. The value trade. Determined to not play just Yogg onto a board where I have control of the board. That doesn't feel very good. Uh, stargazing into Wisdom would be phenomenal right now. Return to the ship at once. Three, eight, nine, twelve. Uh, wait, I, I can't count. Three, six, eleven, fourteen, fifteen. I have lethal. Question everything. Sorry, Yod. Not today, Yogg. You're not gonna ruin my uh, streak right now. It's a streak. <laughs> the win streak is two. So, this is gonna be the last game I play of this deck for today. Uh, we're gonna go positive with it, and that's pretty good. It's actually performing better than I thought it was gonna do, which I thought was gonna be okay. This feels kind of like I was going to say fair, but maybe fair is the wrong word. Because, really, if you get Railer and do a really high roll, it's pretty disgusting. Jaina versus 
it feels honest compared to what other decks Let were doing recently. Like, I'm putting minions on the board. They can trade with my minions. You can't complain, right? Okay. One of the things I think I'm going to learn from last time. Or am I going to learn from last time? Yeah, I think against Death Knight, I don't really care about the Divine Brew quite as much. I'm going to keep the life-saving aura, though, for spell procs. They're both pretty good for it. But there's, there's less value in this matchup of me pinging my own face. Now, if I had Mantle Shaper and knew I was going to get Mantle Shaper, I probably would have held both of them. Uh, don't worry, we'll just top deck some minions. There are a few cards I'm not quite sure on. Like, I'm not sure this Stargazing Primordial Glyph package well, is actually working. I might have cut into the the spell school bit a little bit too much. And the Frostbolt is a little bit out of place. Wow, it's starships. Okay. I won't be able to play that if I draw the glyph, so I probably won't take that offer. Does anyone copy? It's a trap! I've played one spell school, so if I draw... I can't draw Wisdom, so I, I know I'm going to get a double ping off this. Okay. <laughs> Go on, I'll take Yogg. Go on, Yogg. Welcome back. I might live to regret this. It depends how greedy my opponent is. If they're doing the spreading death rattle package, I could be sad right now. I'm not super upset about you having this. Next turn, I can do some Rayla shenanigans. Stand and fight in darkest night! Another control deck, by the way. If only. <laughs> if only I could overheal. Okay, well, we have a starship now. All right. Okay, Yogg. I, I see you. I see you, Yogg. You greedy little menace, you. You have threats? No, okay. Well, that I'm just going to ignore.
that I'm still going to ignore. Threads into Yogg in the box, victory. Or alternatively, I can just play Arcwing Pilot and a bunch of pew pew pews go off. And we win the game that way. I mean, you... You need to kill something. Okay, Airlock Breach is a good card. Although I say it's a good card. Does that get you out of the issue you're in right now? Uh, ping, 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 ping. It does get you out of the issue that you're in. I was... I'm actually going to do this slightly differently as well to get another minion. Ten damage. Got a coin. Keep the pressure up. Three, six, eight, ten, twelve. This is lethal. You have to deal with the three, two. Uh, this is seven, nine. It's still lethal. I'm sorry, Yogg. I, I'm sorry, Yogg. I, I promise to you, I'll be down by the mat's bed tonight. I'll be wearing like a, you know, a hood and something and have like my, my tentacle stuff out and I'll be praying to you. Uh, I, I promise I'll make up to you. Climb to Platinum 5 with a combination of Draenei Mage and Starship Rogue. Who'd have thought it? Anyway, YouTube, that is going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like and subscribe? Everything helps me out. I'll see you again next time. Bye.